गुड मॉर्निंग गाइज हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ द पोर्चुगल ट्रैवल एक्सप्लोरेशन आफ्टर वॉचिंग ब्यूटिफुल सन सेट एट द डू ओर रिवर येस्टे टूडे इज द टाइम टू गो फार एंड वाइड अवे फ्रॉम पोर्तो एंड एक्सप्लोर अनदर ब्यूटिफुल सिटी बट लेट्स हैव ब्रेकफास्ट फर्स्ट एट माई फेवरेट बेकरी द प्लेस फॉर आई वॉज येस्टे एंड देन वी कंटिन्यू द जर्नी स्टेट यूर That breakfast was super good. I think I'm gonna have a sugar rush for a for a while. A lot of sweet things today: fruit tart, pina chocolate, and the brownie is really good. They make it like moderately sweet, and they add some nuts inside, which is exactly the way I like it. So I'm really enjoying it. And now I'm headed to the metro station to get to one of the bigger train station first, and then we'll switch to a train. So see you in the metro station. And the good thing for me is because I have the Porto card, so I could just simply validate and hop on. Um, I don't have to do the math with the zones and stuff, which is really complicated, to be honest. Like I don't really like it, but yeah, this way I get away with it, so I don't have to do it at all. So uh, train journey hit a snag. So this is Villa Nova de Gaia. Uh, got kicked off of the train. So I boarded the Alpha Pendula. I was really confused why my Porto Pass Porto card allows me to board like a super fast train. To uh, I'm headed to Coimbra, and then yeah, the ticket checker came. He checked the card and he says no, it's not valid. I was so confused, and then he kicked me out of this station. This is the very next station. And the thing is uh, that. Porto Pass actually the lady at the counter said it's valid for all trains all buses all metro lines blah 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 as like it felt like you can go to entire portugal with that doesn't work that way so there is this uh, line uh, station called Espanya and that is the end where of the validity of this ticket and since Coimbra is way further from that station it's no longer valid so yeah i had to buy a new ticket which is just about 13 euros so it's not so bad and you could even go for a cheaper one so there's a urban train which is about 8 euros and then there is this uh, a little bit faster intercity train which is about 13 euros so i went for the little bit faster one because i also have a meeting in coimbra so maybe on the way back i'll choose the cheaper one but yeah so i have an hour to kill here in this whatever this place is i have no idea it was never on my radar but now that i have an hour to kill might as well roam around and explore a little bit how oh, the adventures of solo travels so this is their alpha pendular the bullet train standing here i was on it for like i don't know less than 10 minutes before getting kicked off it was a fun short ride i was just checking the map to see what villa nova de gaia actually is turns out it's the same guy i was exploring yesterday across the river duero so i have seen all the harbor side and this is somewhere a little bit in the interior maybe very close to the harbor it's just 16 minutes walking from here so i guess i can explore a little bit of interior while i have 40 minutes to kill so let's see what we find so it looks like there is a chinese market nearby 1 minute walking this way let's go check that out This is a huge store like a warehouse kind of stuff where you have like hardware household stuff toys electronics almost everything you need well that was a nice way to kill some time at the chinese supermarket back to the train station now <laughs> yeah it looks like it's a god for second train station there's barely any people here it's like a teeny tiny station but at least the alpha pendulum yeah now going to just wait for the train and see 
if I ever make it to my destination into the meeting today that should be fun and this is also not a direct train you get to Coimbra B first and then uh, you have to change to another train to get to Coimbra which is kind of interesting like they have two stations within Coimbra itself I don't know how far apart they are but probably the local train should be very nice and short so let's wait for our train now So after a few hiccups finally made it to Coimbra, gonna finish my meeting first and then gonna start exploring the town of Coimbra. So see you after my meeting. Alright so the meeting is over, time to explore uh, the city of Coimbra. First going on top of a hill up there somewhere to explore the University of Coimbra main campus. It's a historic building so let's see how that looks like. Hello from the University of Coimbra main campus. It's undergoing renovation, so sorry about the noise, but that's the main campus behind me. Part of it is open to tourists, so a lot of people come here and visit. Really amazing bird's eye view of the river, the bridges, and from up high on the hill. On you know, the cab I was seeing, it's pretty steep uphill climb, so it was better I took a cab or preferably could take a bus. Uh, walking in this kind of weather would actually take quite a bit of effort. Let's see some of the buildings from the inside now. This is pretty interesting, they have made like uh, multiple touristic circuits So there is a chapel there, there is this tower here, there is a royal palace here And downstairs there is this lib Baroque library So you can buy like combo tickets of different sets of these And then they give you a guided tour and there is a proper time I guess So it ranges all the way from 10 euros to 17 odd euros I think So I'm not going in, I'm only interested in the botanical garden and the view of the river but yeah, it's interesting because this is like a very cultural heritage so they are also offering like touristic circuits around this area a pretty nice campus anyways I'm interested in this courtyard lovely views from up here so I'm gonna go out soon start exploring the rest of the area around I think it's also really nice I saw a glimpse of it from the cab I think I'm in the faculty of physics and the other statues in front of the buildings uh, the building across the street there I think that's faculty of medicine and you can see except for the main building that has a lot of uh, heritage sites there so all the tourists flock over there but the rest of the buildings I mean okay they are not super fancy they look old but they also offer nice views of the river and the greenery and stuff nobody's chilling here <laughs> quite a stark contrast between the touristic hotspot and then the rest of the area around i'm just looking around out of curiosity to try and see if there's a good viewpoint here like an underrated viewpoint try and see what views are around and then slowly heading over to the botanical garden and on the way here i saw a lot of uh, food joints so maybe also eat something somewhere haven't had lunch and it's already 4 30 pm This 
building has no board sign but I'm guessing this is faculty of mathematics This is pretty cool. This is the arches I saw on the way from the cab over here. Then we went around this roundabout. That side is downtown. That way up the hill is the university. And then this right here are the botanical gardens. Oh, a pretty big garden. I'm somewhere near the arches where that says entrance right there. Let's explore. really tell if this fountain is overgrown with moss grass or is it meant to be that way so that the water drips but it really needs a change of water it's kind of like starting to stink and it doesn't look as beautiful as the rest of the garden it doesn't go with the kind of the environment that it is in this tree has been here for a while looks like some sibling of a banyan tree roots going all the way into these cobbled footsteps so far really enjoying the walk oh now we have the bamboo grove like the arashiyama from japan Of all the places inside this uh, botanical garden, I think the bamboo grove has been my favorite by far. There's also a bushcraft shelter somebody made here of uh, dried bamboo uh, twigs and branches. Yeah, it's a pretty cool place to spend time here. I think now I'm gonna exit and see what else is there and grab some meal along the way. The walking route here is pretty nice, uh, you keep going downhill and then towards the end I can already see the bridge over there so I think we're gonna end somewhere close to the riverside which is where I wanted to be anyways and I guess for the train station I have to go to downtown so I can explore it towards the end. Not sure if I want to stay here for the sunset or not, have to check how the trains work from here because can't get stranded here, <laughs> already the way here was quite an adventure so I need to be back in Porto in my accommodation. So let's see how it goes, but for the moment, still enjoying life, having a lot of fun. By the way, this was the botanical garden of the university. I don't know if there are other botanical gardens, but just wanted to clarify. Had a lot of fun. I uh, brought back a lot of memories from Arashiyama when I visited uh, Japan. I might visit Kyoto sometime soon as well. I don't know if I'll have time to go back there again, but that's why uh, probably I'll use the thumbnail I clicked here if I can't figure out a better thumbnail for this vlog. Let's see how it goes. Anyways, if I don't end up using the thumbnail, I'll uh, put it in the vlogs somewhere just to remember it for later. Nice. On the way out, I bumped into this tram 15. It says it's a museum, so I guess it's a decommissioned tram. But it's standing here, there are also railway tracks, and then this is the tram yard, I suppose. looks like while walking I ended up at Praka the Republica, the Republica Square. So this is the old town and there are some eateries open. So let's eat something.
this street mostly had bars so managed to get like a small snack anyways it's an odd hour so didn't want like a full-fledged dinner probably gonna stop by one of the shops and grab a gelato and then start exploring uh, the other side is the riverfront a few other places to see across the river Gelato also done, mango and vanilla, two scoops, 3 euros 60 uh, and it's an Italian place so I'm guessing it's gonna be good. Gonna cross over to the riverside and then enjoy it in the park if I can find a shade somewhere and then continue exploring the riverside and the other side. <laughs> this was the only shade I could find, they again seem to have some sort of construction going on around here. So not, no grass, no place to sit by the riverside and the gelato started melting, melting the moment I stepped out of the shop so didn't have a lot of time I've seen like uh, vlogging with the gelato in one hand is near impossible I can eat with anything else in one hand but with the gelato I, I need my me time and then sit down in a corner and enjoy it peacefully anyways uh, that's the river so the plan is to cross over to the other side see some places to see on the other side and then maybe walk by this promenade and then enjoy the nice views by the promenade before heading back to Porto. So just like Porto over Duoro river we had six bridges. This is the Santa Clara bridge and that's river Mondego. They also have a lot of bridges here and each bridge is like very unique so you can keep crossing and hopping across. So when I go back I'll try to go further and try to cross one of the other bridges but these flags are looking really nice nice and sunny day and there is the bridge with the wires that I was seeing from the university there's also a fountain on the other side so probably when I go walk by the promenade I'll have better views pretty cool day today we are on the river this time different river on the Ego river See, there is a monastery the second one I think is the park dedicated to the story of uh, Romeo and Juliet from Portugal this is a miniature park with Barbie museum and stuff uh, convent another convent this I don't know what that is but for the moment this looks really cool I don't know if I can get close somehow and then there is a really big park close to the riverside uh, so this is the monastery of Santa Clara Avella commissioned by Queen Elizabeth looks really cool from a distance but there is a steel gate here that's closed shut so can't really go in but nice views nonetheless found it well the entrance looks really cool Let's ask how much is the entrance ticket for this. Oh, looks really cool, but it's uh, 6.40 p.m. and they close at 7, so they're no longer selling tickets. So can't really go in, but just gonna walk around, see what else is there to see. Uh, I guess all the monuments would probably close at 7, so promenade walk is my best friend so just gonna do that but gonna explore a little bit first so does the Camino de Santiago route pass from here or what does this sign mean I'm kind of confused if anyone has done this walking trail Camino de Santiago route let me know what does this mean because I'm near the city center and this miniature museum and I find this sign very interesting then it's time for a little promenade walk and finding one of the cool bridges to chill on and then maybe try to watch a sunset the sun seems to be setting on the other side of the river so I mean towards the side where I am right now so let's see if we get a nice viewpoint probably not a time-lapse today but uh, just a nice glimpse and enjoy
the game those guys were playing in the water with the kayaks and the volleyball but it looks super intense and the blocking the net was really high so the blocking was with the paddles and stuff never seen something like that before but it was really cool just walking around trying to see where are all the bridges and stuff and then find a good spot and chill by the water to the other side i'm walking in the park of montegro river uh, i'm just gonna find some shade under a tree and sit down for a bit and enjoy the nice views so a little change in plans i saw that the trains were either at 8 15 8 45 or they're after 10 pm so i decided to hop on the first train out and then uh, the first train back so I'm already at uh, Coimbra B and maybe gonna watch the sunset from here because the train leaves at 8.40 and it's the Alpha Pendula so this time I really want to be on that one. Not a great view from up here, I'm just stuck by the highway. The river is a little bit far away and I can't go too far because I have to be close to the train station. So I guess I'll just head back to the train station, try and see it from there or on the train because the train leaves around the sunset time so <coughs> try my luck while I'm on board. Nothing special on this side, just some park and there is the sun, so now it's still too early. and I'm at the train station just a couple of minutes and the train should arrive and with that I'll end this episode for Coimbra <coughs> we'll probably take a couple of shots on the way getting to the train <laughs> yeah this this uh, arrival and this journey to Coimbra has been quite something full of adventures let's say to say the least but yeah it was a fun experience spent nearly three quarters of the day i wouldn't say it was a full day trip thanks to the adventures that happened on the way here but it was a, all in all was a good trip i had a nice experience exploring coimbra visiting the university campuses had a successful meeting and then spending time by the promenade seeing people enjoy by the park anyways um i don't know what i'm doing tomorrow or is the last day in porto before i fly back and then off to another adventure but we'll see when we see uh, until then this is the rustic wanderer sign off uh, signing off enjoy the last few shots of the sunset and my brain is starting to give up so i'll better shut up and i'll see you next time and of course uh, just when i thought i would see the sunset from the train the train is delayed by an hour so i'm just gonna go to a nearby barbecue shop and have dinner instead but it was a nice sunset from a distance for what it was uh, first time seeing it from a train station it happens so this was the barbecue place it seems closed let's look for another option quickly such lovely purplish pinkish skies finally now that is slightly getting darker Okay, that was the fastest ever dinner break I've ever had. Really, it's super duper fast. Uh, it was like two huge spring rolls and a really big portion of fried rice. The owner was not Portu uh, was not Chinese. I think she was Portuguese, and she was having dinner with the family, I suppose. So all the lights and everything were turned off, but they turned it on when I went in. Really amazing owner. I leave her a five star review. She was very kind and she made the food very quickly because she understood that I have to catch the train. <laughs> Although she said like uh, the food is prepared on order, but yeah, uh, it worked out fine. Now I just have to catch the train, so I'll end the vlog here because while running it's very difficult to vlog. See you in the next episode and then we'll see what happens then even I don't know what's going to happen.